three reasons why I'm going to be pulling my Void Shards today. Beanie Senpai actually had the nerve to just waltz into Raid Shadow Legends, pull a Siffy. By the way, go ahead, check him out. The other reason, Boozer came out with a video talking about the importance of making sure that you finish the Summon Rush event. And so he goes into depth here talking about how the Fortune Deck of Fates, one, is really expensive, and two, there's nothing, there's no main prize here. You're it's, and th again, this is all speculation. This is not confirmed or anything. But from what we're seeing here, the way he explained it is there's no, and I also talked about this with people in Discord, there's no main event. There's no like main prize. There's no guaranteed champion. And it looks like you're just getting a bunch of <laughs> books and runes. And you're basically trying to get the points right here. When you're doing a fortune deck of fate events with how expensive it is you're going to want to one have something big and juicy for you to like really sink your teeth into you want like a guaranteed champion or something or something huge right two you don't want to be just going into this strictly for points you don't you don't want to be scrambling if you're going for the five star armand's fusion to take a shot in the dark pull random cards and hope that you get the points that you need and honestly if it is as we are or he is predicting like if if polarium is actually doing what he is uh speculating and and i kind of I'm, I'm i'm leaning more towards believing him um because this is something that polarium would do but it's just it's just kind of messed up so i do think that you know, you want to keep this in context and remember that you don't actually have to always go for a lot of events. You could always dip out and say, you know what, I don't want to participate in these things anymore. Or, you know, I I, I think that I'm not going to feed into Polarium's antics and do the things that they, they want us to do. You could always say that and, and back off. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's up to your prerogative. I just want to give you as much context as possible. I'm not saying... Like, I know I just said, yeah, you should pull your shards if you're going for the Armand's fusion, but there's an asterisk there. It's it's more along the lines of, you know, you don't have to pull, but if you feel so inclined to complete the Armand's fusion, or the not the Armand's fusion, the Armand's uh, five-star uh, soul, then you might want to consider actually just finishing up the summoning event here rather than have to hope that you finish it with whatever you have, with whatever resources you have during the Fortune Deck of Fate event. Again, I'm a content creator, so that means more often than not, I'm going to go for these things because it makes sense for me. But you, as a regular player, if you are a casual or regular newer free-to-play player, you may want to consider sitting some of these events out, which is totally fine. You're not going to be missing out on that much. Like, you'll live. For an example, the Podrig... Uh, guaranteed event and the Podrick Soul, I would have been fine. I would have lived without it, but I went for it because I'm a content creator and you know, for me, it's fun. However, you spend your resources, you play your game the way that you want to. I'm just giving you context. I'm glad that I, I checked it because honestly, I was under the impression with Polarium's announcement that you could miss up to like 250 points. I thought that they were just going to bring out more events, I thought I was going to be able to skip the Summon Rush event, which was the plan, because I've been trying to save shards, but it's so hard to save shards. I, I did pull some greens, but in order to finish this and guarantee us that we get the um, the points, we got to get 4,100. If you've done every single event so far, but you skip the Summon Rush, you're going to have to scramble to finish the Deck of Fates in order to make sure that you get the five star soul for Armands. And I talked about it in another video, one of my past videos, a couple of videos ago, that uh, if you're a free to play or a newer player or, or um, you, you know, whatever, you're, you're, you're a casual player, you're totally fine going for uh, the three star for Armands, the four star for Armands, and, and even just the one star. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It's still reasonably powerful. But if you, if you want to be able to really make things easy and, and trample teams or sheep, I guess and turn and control everything then you know the bit the bigger the blessing that you have the better because essentially it's like a, a pseudo or another form of empowering your champion it's another huge stat boost but we're gonna pull if you guys are pulling your void shards i would go for siffy 
and Seer, if you don't have her, Shogger's another good option. I don't know what these two champions do. Double points, usually Ancient Shards are only like, what, 20 points? But this time around, they're giving us 40. Beanie got Siffy after playing for a little bit. I've been waiting over what feels like five years to get Siffy. And for the longest time, it's just been me and Rotos. So we got to look for um, Siffy because we've been maidenless for as long as, as we have. Make sure we're in international zero. Thank you for 1,119 subs. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, one, two pulls, uh, single pulls. Let's try to get these points. Seducer, we don't want to see you. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If any of you guys got Siffy. Who you guys are going for. If you guys are even going for the event. Uh, I'm so glad that Boozer said something. Because I was totally going to skip this. And I would have been scrambling. And I probably would have had to pay more. In order to try to finish the deck of fates. Which I, I don't like having to do. I like having a guaranteed thing. I don't like being uh, what do you call it? stonewalled or cornered into something. And Polarium's really good at doing FOMO. Of course, I don't exactly help the situation because I participate in them, but I can't help it, guys. Do as I say if you want to. Don't do as I do. All right, nothing there. Come on, Siffy. We know. We, we... The thing is, I'm not even close to Mercy, I think. I burn Mercy on. Um, one of the Supreme Pizza champions. It wasn't Supreme Gaelic, which is one I would have been so happy to pull because he's just awesome in, in Hydra. But I... Oh, uh, Kale. I summoned Supreme Kale. I got mixed reviews about him. I have mixed feelings, but mostly negative because of what he is. He's a Void Legendary champion. How many Renegades and Painkeepers am I going to summon? And Bellowers. Um, you know, because he's a Void champion and Voids are, Void Legos are harder to get in this game, like, I would have expected uh, that he, especially for the event that they put him out in, I, I, I would have expected that he would have been a little bit better than what he is. But, you know, it is what it is, Harrier. And, um, Beanie also summoned Supreme Gaelic. So, you know, pay to win lifestyle. And I'm part of it too. I, I'm a, I'm a huge, huge, not a huge spender. Let's say I'm like a like a tuna when it comes to um, paying for things in raid. I don't normally go out of my way to buy shards. I do like buying energy because I'm a I'm a huge uh, you know proponent of farming for better gear. A lot of the problems in raid, if you're struggling with anything, in two broadmas, a genbo, and an ursula. I thought we had a 25x for Seer. I keep getting Renegades and Painkeepers, though, so that's good. Am I out of space? Oh, I'm out of shards. Wow. Oh, dude, I overshot. 